your host. I am Annie T. Broughton, and I want to just thank you for letting us come into your home tonight to be with you. We're going to have an awesome time tonight on Nightline. Oh, my goodness. We're going to be celebrating some young graduates who just came out of school. Amen. They got their degrees. They got their diplomas. Amen. And so we want to celebrate them tonight. We want to tell them well done. Amen. Praise God. Uh, I want to encourage you tonight. Amen. Praise God. To always seek God. No matter what you're going through in your life, always pray. Amen. He's there to answer your prayers. And we do have some prayer partners on hand tonight. So all you got to do is call tonight and they'll be glad to pray with you and and encourage you with your walk with God. If you're not saved tonight, call in. Amen. Praise God. If you need help tonight in any kind of way, uh, if you just need somebody to encourage you tonight, amen. Praise God. Call in. We're here just for you. I do have a scripture I do want to share tonight, and it's coming from Daniel, the first chapter in the 17th verse. It reads, as for these four children, God gave them knowledge and skill and all learning and wisdom. And Daniel had understanding all vision and dreams. That's Daniel 1 and 17. Amen. Praise God. One thing I want you to know tonight is that God is able to bless you. Amen. Wherever you are, no matter what you're doing, amen, he will excel you. He'll move you up. Amen. He'll give you wisdom. He'll give you knowledge. And he'll give you understanding. We have a musical guest with us tonight. Amen. She's one of our young graduates. Her name is Abby Smart. And I can't wait for you all to hear her. We also got another dance ministry here with us tonight. They are called Instruments of Praise, instruments of praise, amen. So we're, gonna, we're in for a blessing tonight, amen, praise God. And then we're going to have a guest speaker tonight, amen, Dr. Mattia Jones, amen, praise God. She is the <laughs> Vice President of Student Services at Greenville Tech. So call somebody and tell them to tune in, amen, praise God, and hear what God is going to speak through these young graduates, through Dr. Mattia Jones. We want you to be blessed tonight. We're going to have an awesome time. This is a day that the Lord made. Come on, somebody. And he said to rejoice and to be glad in it. Right now, we're going to Abby. Amen. She's going to be singing how he loves. Amen. Praise God.
Praise God. That's a beautiful song to start the, the program out with us tonight because he loves us so much. Oh, how he loves us. Amen. Praise God. Can you feel this love? I know we can here at the studio. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, we're getting ready to talk to some of our young graduates. And I tell you what, they are phenomenal in God. And I just want to introduce you to some of these young women and this mighty man of God that I'm going to introduce to you right now. The first one I want to introduce you to is Lee. Amen. Praise God. Sullivan. How you doing, Lee? God bless you. Amen. Praise God. And then we have um, Janata. Amen. Williams. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Then we have Ashley Jurgen. Hi, Ashley. Hi, how, are how are you? I'm good. How are you? Amen. Praise God. So y'all just graduated from school. I know you're excited. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma oh, my goodness. And Lee, you've just been involved in all kind of things, haven't you? Yes, ma'am. Amen. Yes, Can you share with some of the things that you, some of your accomplishments? Oh, yes, ma'am, for sure. Well, um, while I was at Greenville Tech, I received a, a scholarship. And um, on that scholarship, I was able to speak at the Poinsettia Club downtown. Um, on behalf of Greenwood Technical College. Wow, uh, thank you for that scholarship. Um, I was also nominated to be the president of uh, my organization there at Greenwood Tech. It's, uh, it's called OMLI, and the acronym stands for African American Male Leadership Institute. Mm -hmm. And um, this program at Greenwood Tech, they are um, committed to developing leadership potential in uh, minority males at Greenwood Tech. Um, they've really opened the doors for me to uh, travel and get exposure, and they've really just been great with helping me with school incentives, like um, workshops and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So yes, ma'am, it, it definitely has been a great experience. Well, I am so proud of you, and I know that your mom and your family, they are as proud of you as well. Amen. Praise God. So, Janata, you graduated from what school? I went to Berea High School. Berea High. Yes, Amen. Ma Praise God. So what day did you graduate? I actually graduated, graduated yesterday at ah! 1 p.m. <laughs> you feel when you walked across that stage? Um, I felt amazing. It was really great to walk with my peers across the stage. We finally did it. Um, long four years. I actually had the privilege of speaking there, being salutatorian. So, um, oh my goodness! Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. um, and I was I was more nervous about the speech than um, walking across the aisle, the walking across to get my diploma. So, um, walking across was yeah. It was just a breeze. I just I yeah. felt that that was you know, the easy part of it yesterday, so. Wow. Yeah. And Ashley, what about you? What school did you graduate from? I actually graduated from Southside High School. Oh, Southside yeah. in the house. <laughs> 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 you know what, I went to, I went to Greenville High oh, long, okay. long time ago. <laughs> oh, don't, don't laugh, don't laugh. And you know, and we were called the Red Raiders, you know. <laughs> Let's see, um, oh, no, nah, I can't sing it now. <laughs> So tell me, what are, you, what are your plans, what are your goals now that you all have graduated? Um, i start with you, Danita. Okay, um, next year I plan to go to Clemson University. I plan to um, major in marketing and then minor in political science after that. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. What about you, Ashley? I'm actually going to College of Charleston in August, and I will major in nursing, but I will be doing the pre-health um, program. Wow, that's, that sounds awesome. We need some more nurses. Amen. Praise Thank God. You. Will you come and nurse on me if I ever need it? Yes, <laughs> okay. So, uh, Lee, tell me what you plan on doing after. I know you're doing a lot. Yes, Amen. But what are your future goals? Yes, ma'am. So, right now, actually, um, I was able to get an um, internship with Greenville Tech. And um, they're kind of bridging me in between uh, my associate's degree and my bachelor's degree. Yeah. So, my future plans is to actually go to USC Upstate and to pursue a degree up there for electronics management technology. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Wow, that sounds wonderful. It sounds like y'all got y'all got your ducks all in a row. You <laughs> know where you go. God, God's been good. <laughs> yes, ma'am. God's been good. So tell me about high school. How was that? You know, as mm -hmm. far as like, you know, doing homework and is, did y'all hold jobs while y'all was in school? Yes, ma'am. You did? Yes, like, what kind of jobs? Okay. Well, my sophomore year, I actually worked at Chick-fil-A, and then this year I worked at Bed Bath & Beyond. Did you bring me anything? Did you bring us anything from Chick-fil-A at all tonight? <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't work Bed Bath & Beyond, anything, no? I wish, but I did. <laughs> I did it. I was so sorry. Mm -hmm. So how was working, balancing work and school? How did that happen? 
for me, work out for it you. wasn't so bad because I actually had my work schedule planned out to go around my school schedule, so it wouldn't interfere with anything or cause my grades to drop. Like, school was my number one priority the whole time. Mm -hmm. So what about you, Mr. Um, Nathans? So whenever I um, started off school, my mom, she told me, she said, your job right now is school. So that wow. I had the privilege to um, mm -hmm. have her say that to me. But of course, growing up, you want your own money. You want to go out whenever you want to. You know, don't have to ask your parents for it. So uh, junior year, I started working at Chick-fil-A as well. Um, <laughs> and I'm, I loved it. The workload was a lot, but it um, helped me mature. And with time management, you know, I need to do my homework now because my shift starts at 5 o'clock. <laughs> you know, it helped me build myself up and learn mm -hmm. how to manage my time. Wisely. That's wonderful. So how important is it to be able to manage your time as well as going to school, Lee? Oh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's very crucial. It's very crucial because, um, you know, just being a college student, for sure, you have a lot of responsibilities. Mm -hmm. um, it extends even more so with family, like I said, uh, friends and social life. You start to make those lifelong connections, mm -hmm. you know, as well. So um, you definitely want to, the, the name of the game is balance. And okay. Put it, put it very much simply. And um, yeah, so you just, you have to have your priorities right. And um, you just keep God first and um, just write your goals down and you're, you're well on your way to being successful in that way. Well, I like what you said about, you know, keeping God first. Right. So how important was it to keep God first in your life? Oh, yes, uh, very important. Um, you know, sometimes you just have hard nights before a test or something like that, or you might get a, a bad report from school or whatnot. And so the first person I'll come to is, uh, you know, just the Holy Ghost to say, Lord, lead me through it or whatnot, you know? <laughs> yes, like, ah, yes. Yes. You have to do that sometimes. Yes. Yeah, you have to do that for sometimes, for mm -hmm. sure. So, um, uh, school has also just helped me just mature, you know, also my walk with God, too. So, um, you know, uh, when I do get evicted, the first person I'm, I'm talking to is, Lord, mm -hmm. hallelujah, <laughs> hallelujah. <laughs> you know, so, um, so yes, it's, uh, it's definitely important. It's mm -hmm. definitely important to have a relationship with God. Amen. So, what about you all? Do y'all have a, a relationship with God? Yes, ma'am. So, um, how did that help you all? I actually grew up in a church, so um, my mom, every Sunday, no matter what, you waking up, you going to church. <laughs> Sunday school, you going to church. Um, and it just, it became, you know how people say it's muscle memory? Every week, you know, you just have this hunger to be with God and Amen. go on Sunday and just worship Him. So, it would be some, um, some days I would, you know, you would not go to church and you just feel your whole day or your whole week is going. <laughs> wrong it's like yes. oh you didn't go to church yeah. <laughs> so yeah my own walk with God is very strong and I have you know my family to appreciate to you know be grateful mm -hmm. for, for that so, yeah. <laughs> why, why'd you, why'd you, I saw that why, <laughs> <laughs> tell me what's going on so I actually grew up in the church as well but I wouldn't say my walk with God was as close when I was younger because I didn't understand much of the Bible yeah. but as I got older I listened more in church and I would say I kind of felt it on a personal level more mm -hmm. as I got older because I understood it. And I would say that's the first person I go to about anything. Wow. Um, it's important to keep God first. You will have those rough nights and it gets really tough. But the first person you should call on is God, which I did. Mm -hmm. And I would say I did have times where I just cried to him. And <laughs> no, I never felt alone because of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you think that you could have made it? as well as, as you did in school, if you did not have a relationship with Christ? Uh, that's hard to say. <laughs> that's, that's hard to say. Yeah, um, that is hard to say. I mean, you know, um, like you said, before a test or something, you, mm -hmm. you feel really confident knowing that you have someone watching over you, God mm -hmm. and you, and you feel him with you. So, right. um, I don't know. If you just, you have to believe that yeah. Something it has to go right. You know what I mean? So, um, I don't I don't know. <laughs> to answer your question, I don't know. Yeah. Um, but I know with him being in my life it did help a lot. That's Amen. why I can speak on yeah. my side of it. Yeah. Too. So sometimes in school we face so many different kind of challenges mm -hmm. in school, like peer pressure, you know, um, bullying. Did y'all ever find that to be in place or something like that happening with you all while you was in school? Um, peer pressure, I wouldn't say it bothered me too much. It didn't really have an influence on me because I'm my own person and I'm very strong-minded, I would say. And because of my walk with God, I know what's right from wrong, so I wouldn't let peer pressure get to me mm -hmm. as well. Bullying, I didn't really have much of a problem with it, but I didn't like seeing other people get right, bullied, right. so mm -hmm. I would kind of like step in sometimes with things like that. 
You would step in. Yes, ma'am. The little one in the group. Yeah, I'm just one of those people. <laughs> I don't um, like you can't that. mess with this one, you know? <laughs> oh, I don't play about the people that anyway. I love and care about. Yeah. So you said what? You was valedictorian in your class? I was salutatorian. Yes, Salutat ma Okay, what's that? Uh, number two in my class. Um, mm. And, <laughs> and um, yeah, I, I actually came to the last semester of my junior year. They told me I was number three, and I was fine with that. I was like, I don't have to make a speech. That's fine. I'm okay <laughs> with it. But then um, at the beginning of my senior year, they were like, well, Janata, I know you didn't want to make a speech, but it turns out you're number two in your class. And um, though, I mean, I'm trying to make, I'm making it sound like it was a bad thing, but whenever I found out, I jumped for joy. I was like, <laughs> I was like are you serious? Are you sure? And they're like, oh, yeah, you, you're number yeah. two. And yeah, it was, it was great. Um, and I gave the speech yesterday, and yeah, it was, it was great. I enjoyed it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So what did you? What were some of the things, the points you made in your speech? Um, I actually broke down our alma mater, our Berea High School alma mater. So each line, um, I know like in school you always sing your alma mater and a lot of people don't look into it, into depth. So I was like, you know, looking for inspiration. I looked um, at the alma mater and each line, I said it embodies the students at Berea, the hearts and minds of all of us. So I broke it down. Wow, and praise God. I think God. a lot of people took... Um, they felt the same way after I broke it down for them and how special the school is to all of us. That is beautiful. Now, Lee, I want to ask you a question. How important is it to maintain a good grade average? Oh, to maintain school? a good grade average? Uh, good grade average, alternative means that you have more scholarship money and more grants as well. So wow. um, I'm very thankful to say that, you know, with me staying on course, I didn't have to borrow any money for college uh, for my associate's degree. Mm -hmm. And so um, definitely just having that in mind, um, it, it definitely is very important, just so important. Praise God. Right. Well, we're getting ready to go to uh, a dance ministry. Amen. Instruments of praise. I know who I am. Amen. Praise God.
Wow. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Woo! My God, my God, my God. Well, that was the instruments of praise, and they was dancing to, I know who I am. Amen. Praise God. And one thing, you need to know who you are in God. Amen. Because when you get saved, when you turn your life over to Christ, you become a child of God. You become a child of the King. Amen. Praise God. Well, we had some people to call in tonight, and somebody called in and said they're in uh, stage five kidney failure. Uh, they went to the doctor today, and their kidneys are at 9%. We want you to know that we are praying for you tonight. Amen. Praise God. And God will restore those kidneys. They will function, amen, the way God intended for them to function. Amen. Praise God. Somebody else said, um, they're praying to see their granddaughter again. Praise God. So sometimes, you know, grandchildren, they leave home, different things go on. But we're praying for the for this grandmother, grandfather, that you see your granddaughter again. Amen. Praise God. Somebody's praying for restoration of their marriage. Amen. How you know the enemy desire to steal, kill, and destroy? Amen. But Jesus said, but I came that you might have a life and have it more abundantly. So we're praying for your marriage. Amen. Praise God that God will restore it. Thank you for calling in. Keep calling. We do have prayer partners on hand, and we want to hear from you. To God be all the glory. Well, we're going back to our young graduates. Amen. And I want to, I read the other day, I was looking on the Internet, and I read that 1.2 million students drop out of high school in the United States alone, 1.2 million students drop out of high school in the United States alone. That's 7,000 per day. That's a lot of folk. Amen? Amen. 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 So, young people, young graduates, <laughs> I'm going to start with you, Lee. Tell us how we can encourage other young people to stay in high school and graduate. Yes, ma'am. Well, um, to stay in um, to stay in school, no matter you know which um, you know where you're at right now, I would definitely say you have to find some sort of inclusiveness. Mm -hmm. People that you can relate to, who maybe have your same major or, or same classes, because you never want to feel alone or apart while in school. Um, I believe that's why I've seen some of my peers actually fall off. You know, unfortunately, you know. So even still today, I encourage them to say, you know, hey, look, you know, it's not over yet. Let's come back and see what we can do. Mm -hmm. And then the other reason. And I believe that so many um, people don't finish or don't go is because they're not passionate about what okay. they're doing. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, that's 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 definitely a lifelong journey. But I think the faster and quicker you can kind of get in touch with that deeper parts of yourself to really know, hey, you know, this is how I want to help people doing X, Y, and Z. Um, I think that's a that will definitely be a catalyst for people to actually, you know, more students to stay in school and to actually finish. Amen. Praise God. So, what about you, Geneva? Um, I have to agree with. Lee, um, being student body president at my school last year, um, I saw that a lot of students didn't feel that they were included in a lot of things. So if you develop activities at school that made that got them really excited about going to school, that um, made them want to be there. Um, along with, it also it also takes um, a village. It takes a <laughs> lot of people to be in your life to yeah. encourage you. Mm -hmm. um, I know I saw that. Um, you would come to school and you know you would be really happy, but at home your your home life would be totally different. You mm -hmm. wouldn't have the motivation to come to school the next day, or you wouldn't have the the parents at home to tell you, hey, you need to do your homework, or hey, this is important, you need to do this. A lot of um, students would you know drop out of school and go to work to help their parents at home, yeah. but it's really important that you let them know, hey, you need to get your diploma, and you need to get your degree, and that's very important. And yeah. That's so how, how important is it for parents to be visible uh, oh, at important. school, Ashley? Um, it's very crucial. For me it is as well because at home you need someone to push you. You have to have that support system because some, for some students, coming to school is their way to escape everything mm -hmm. else at home. So if you don't have that at home, it kind of changes your mind. It starts to affect your schoolwork and it pushes you to want to give up. Mm -hmm. So that's why also having a relationship with God comes in because although you don't have that support system at home, you also have God to keep you going, know you're here for a reason, you have a reason on this earth. Mm -hmm. So I feel like being having that parenthood is also important. And if you don't have that, you should be able to find friends at school or even a teacher, someone that you can relate to that has your best interest in life if you don't have mm -hmm. that adult figure at home. So what about just having, just maintaining a good, positive mm -hmm. 
attitude. You know, like mm -hmm. sometimes you don't have, you know, that parent that comes around or, or maybe that father mm -hmm. or maybe, you know, this may be something going on in your life that you don't, how important is to have a good attitude, Lee? Well, um, well, one thing I like to start my day off with is uh, definitely to say that um, a smile is contagious. And, uh, <laughs> what, what I mean by Let that. Let me see. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so um, definitely, you know, starting off your day, um, the first 15 minutes I think of your day are crucial from what you hear, um, you know, to the things that you do as far as your routine. Um, having a having that good attitude you you attract what you are so the more you know, okay say that again you attract what you are what do you mean by that <laughs> okay so um if you go around mopey and grumpy you're gonna attract you know mopey and grumpy people situations and things oh, to you okay you know like attracts like mm -hmm. and so um you know with that being said you know you just have to find that thing for me it's the lord jesus christ mm -hmm. but you have to find that thing within you that kind of gives you that urge or that extra step you know and that extra push and i have to thank both my parents my mom and my dad for for, you yeah. know, instilling a lot of that positivity around me, you know, you know, growing up for sure, and um, that also is what helped me graduate college as well. Mm -hmm. yes, wow, that's 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 good, you know, that's a good way to put it. Amen. Mm -hmm. Having a good positive attitude. Yes, you said a few minutes ago, but it takes a village to raise a child. Yes, what did you mean by that? Um, it takes, of course, it takes your mom, your mother, and your father. It doesn't have to be those two, you know, the people who are in your life. And also takes, you know, your teachers, the people in your community, and people at church. It takes a lot of people to encourage you if you're not getting what you need at home, if you can, you know, go to church and you could maybe get the encouragement and the motivation that you need. Mm -hmm. um, this, if it, could, it might be school or, you know, a relationship that you're in or, you know, it's just, it takes a village to help you. And people want to, um, you know, keep things to themselves, but it's really important that you go out and ask for help and, just go to your village and find your village and stick with them. Yeah. So when you all are in school and high school and in the lunchroom, whatever, do y'all sometimes, um, what is the student council for? Well, at my school, student, student council, we try to find things um, to make students excited about school. It's kind of the, you have, you know, the teachers there to educate, but then student council, we are the students in the school, so we're trying to see what other students there would like to see happen in the school, what will get them happy, um, motivated about coming to school, or, um, you know, just diff what would make their atmosphere at school a lot better. Mm -hmm. So the student council, we try to put on different things or um, have extra activities outside of the classroom that we could do and, you know, just get people really excited. Yeah, because if you were to see um, a student not doing well and you knew about that student, what Student counselor kind of help with that? Yes, ma'am. So how how is so, that? So, um, well, I know it's kind of confidential with, so not the, all of the student council, but we have executive council who if we see a certain student struggling with, you know, maybe in school or we see them struggling with being social, we try to include them in different things. If we see that they need help in a class, we might, um, you know, offer them to offer to tutor them, or we see that they're not really social, we'll offer them to, you know, you get, you can come to a football game for free <laughs> or something like that, so they can just feel included. Because um, with the atmosphere that's going on in high schools, it's really important that the people feel included, and you know, you don't want anyone to feel left out at all. So. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot of shooting in schools. Yes, Has that been any concern for you all at all, Ashley? Um, for me, it has. I would say personally, we have had sort of an issue with that a few years back, but our school has came up from it. It does kind of make us fear going to school some days because mm -hmm. we know of the past and we know how more shootings are occurring every day. Mm -hmm. and it's more this year than has been in years, mm -hmm. just this year alone in the past few months. So it does kind of scare me because you're supposed to feel safe sending your kids off to school. Mm -hmm. And seeing this, it also changes your mind, like, should I send them off? What should they do? Mm -hmm. It kind of just alters your behavior, sometimes your mood about going to school. And it could also have an influence on the lives and education of other students. Mm -hmm. So what about you, Lee? Has that been a concern for you? Um, 
In a way, yes, I mean, it has. It definitely has. Um, I feel like a lot of students going to college have a more mature mindset, but, mm -hmm. you know, you'll wake up every day and it's just you never know. You just mm -hmm. never know what you're going to wake up to. And so um, definitely just being aware of your environment, of your atmosphere, you know, where you're going, who you're around. Um, it, it, you definitely just have to have an open mind, you know, wherever mm -hmm. you're going and whatever you're doing. You know, not to saying that, you know, we're going to go through school like we're going, you know, walking on glass, you know, waiting for yeah. something to happen. <laughs> uh, of course not, we pray against that. But um, you just have to be aware of your people. And um, if you see something, say something. Okay. And that's, a, that's something really good that you can, you know, take back from, from this is that if you see something, you know, just very random or out of the blue, you know, it, it's okay to investigate. It's okay to ask questions or to ponder about it, you know. Mm -hmm. um, better to be safer than sorry. That's, that's what I like to say. I like what you just said, that if you see something then say something. Amen. Praise God. Uh, Janai, you want to say something? Uh, Janaida, yes, I'm sorry. You okay. want to say something about that? Um, no, I, I definitely agree with, um, like I said, with the climate of high schools. Um, a lot of people, like what Ashley said, whenever she saw bullying, she would jump in. And that, I mean, that's what we need. We need people to step up and say, hey, that's not, that's not okay. You shouldn't be treating that person like that. How would you feel if you were treated the same way? Mm -hmm. And, um, I know in this time, people don't want to be called the snitch or things like that. But, I mean, if you do see something that that you think is not right, say something to someone. You could be saving a life, helping someone. They probably are going through something. So, mm -hmm. just like you said, if you see something, make sure that you do say something. And I think that's really important. So, what school are you planning on going to once you, since you graduated? I plan to go to Clemson, Clemson. next year. Yes, and Ashley? College of Charleston. Okay, and Lee? Uh, USC Upstate. Amen. Praise God. Well, I'll tell you what, I, it has been an honor for me to have you on Nightline with us tonight. Um, I wanted to, I wanted for you to come on so we can celebrate you all and tell you how proud we are of you and the things that you are doing and the things you have accomplished and to encourage you to keep on going. Keep on pushing, keep on persevering, because I see greatness in all of you all. I see destiny in you. I see promise in you. Amen. You are our future. Amen. So I wanted, I have a little gift I wanted to uh, give you all tonight. Um, uh, just Nightline, it just called me Sarah. We put this little basket together that's sitting on the, t that's, uh, on the table that we want to present to you all tonight and just tell you, that we are so proud of you, and it's got look, it's got a lot of little stuff in there. Yeah, Amen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Amen. So we want to give that to you and tell you that we love you, oh, and God you so bless much. you, and thank you for being with us on Nightline. Is there any last remarks you all want to say for any, any encouraging words you want to tell somebody? Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, I, I definitely say just uh, follow the Lord with all your heart and all your mind, paraphrasing how, how we all know that in the Bible. But it truly does play an effect in your everyday life. It's just to keep the Lord first and um, you know, write your goals down, be ambitious, and nothing can stop you. Amen. You, I agree. Um, I just say that to the people who are still in high school, do not give up. You're almost mm -hmm. there. You're going yeah. to feel so great after you finish like, <laughs> I, like I do. And I think if you're going to do something, if you're going to be in school, why not put yourself, you know, make, if you're going to be there, might as well be great at it or do what all you need to do to be there. Because why just sit in the classroom and just not do anything? I don't understand that, but yeah. That's right. Amen. Praise God. You got a quick remark yeah. real quick? Okay. Keep God first and stay positive. Um, if you have already dropped out, it's not too late to go back. Wow. Don't ever that's a good like one. That's a good never one. feel like it's too late for you to go back and get your education because it is important as well. Thank you, young graduates. We are so proud of you. So very proud of you. Keep going. We get ready to go to Abby Smart now singing Overwhelmed. Amen. Praise God.
that you are is so goodness that was miss abby smart singing overwhelmed amen praise god you know one thing that we can say that we have a god that we can trust who we can run to that we can rely on that he said i'll never leave you nor will i forsake you we can trust in his love and his kindness um he's our way maker he's our bridge over that troubled water He's our Alpha and our Omega. He's our beginning and our end. And he said, I'll be there with you at the beginning and I'll be there with you at the end. Amen, praise. And he's going to be with you all through the middle. No matter what's going on in your life, to God be the glory. That He said, I'm with you. We can run into his arms tonight. We can run into those arms of safety, those arms of protection, those arms of blessing. Somebody called tonight and said they need prayer 
uh, again, amen, they're having problems with their knees, they're having problems uh, in their limbs, amen, praise God. I want you to know that God is able to heal your body from the crown of your head down to the soles of your feet. To God be all the glory. Keep calling in. We are here for you. The prayer partners are on hand. We want to hear from you. That's what Nightline is all about, to encourage you in your walk with God. Amen. Well, that young woman that you just uh, finished hearing her sing, Overwhelmed, she's on the set with me now. Miss Abby Smart, come on in. Yeah. How you doing, baby? I'm good. How are you? Hi. You are such a beautiful young woman of God. Thank Amen. you. Amen. Praise God. And you can sing. <laughs> you got a beautiful, beautiful voice. Thank and you. you just graduated from high school as well, right? Yes, I did. And what school did you graduate from? I graduated from Wade Hampton. Wade Hampton. Mm -hmm. Amen. So how long have you been singing? Very long time. And then <laughs> my grandpa started me off singing at church when I was, when I just learned to talk. It's a little, it was a lot. When you just learn to talk, yeah. you start singing, huh? Mm -hmm. I bet you were singing in your mother's womb. I bet she was singing. Probably. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. So what are the things you plan on doing since you graduated from high school? Well, I'm going to USC Upstate next year, and I'm going to major in psychology. Mm -hmm. And I plan on going for my doctoral degree for clinical psychology at USC in Columbia. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. You are... First of all, I want to say that I'm proud of you. Thank you. You are a phenomenal woman of God. But growing up, you had some issues. I did, yes. Amen. And yes. you suffered from what? When I was four, I was diagnosed with severe anxiety. And to the point where I would have, like, panic attacks every morning before I went to school. Like, just as a kindergartner. And they would send me home from the nurse all the time and to the point where my mom did not know like what to do about it mm -hmm. and it followed me up like all the way up through middle school and even at high school like it just would come up and then in middle school I got put in the hospital for that and it was just it was a horrible time and then I remember one night I was in my hospital bed mm -hmm. and I opened up my Bible and I was just, I wanted God to show me something that can take all of this away from me because it was horrible. And so he showed me this verse that I like, I love and it's First Peter 5, 7, cast all your anxiety on him wow. for he cares for you. Yes. And yes. Yes. it sticks with me till this day. Every time I get worried or anxious, I just think about that verse and I just feel like a relief Amen. and I just know that he is with me through everything and God is good. Mm -hmm. yeah. For you to be such a young woman of God and to have suffered from severe anxiety the way that you did and I think you told me or your, your mother told me that even in school at like 4K Mm -hmm. You used to go to school and just throw up. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah. It was horrible. I would get like, like even my mom, when she didn't know about it, she just thought like there, I was sick. Like it looked like I was really sick. But every time she would take me to the doctor, they would just, they tell me I was fine. There's nothing wrong with me. Mm -hmm. And they took me to a psychologist and they were like, she has severe anxiety. And that was just the symptoms of it. Like just... Sometimes you can't breathe. Sometimes My you goodness. start shaking. It's horrible, but I'm I'm relieved from it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you was even the reason why I'm, I say I'm so proud of you because you was at the point at one time that you could even come out of your house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So how was that? It was not good at all. Mm -hmm. Like. It just, I just had to pray a lot about it. And then eventually, he, God just pushes me. And sometimes I'll just be like, I really can't do this. And I'll start freaking out again. And then I just think of that verse. And then he's just right behind me, like telling me in my ear, it's going to be okay. And I just yeah. call out in the name of Jesus, and he's there for me. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. So you call on the name of Jesus. Yeah, I do. Yeah. And so 
just calling out that name kind of calms you or it relaxes does. you? Yes. Mm -hmm. I feel his presence and it just tells me I'm okay and what's the worst that can happen? Mm -hmm. He's right there beside me. So you, okay, so you, you couldn't come out the house. So what age did you get to the point that you could come out of the house? Um, I could like come out like, I mean, I could go out. It was just really hard because I would just be scared and stuff about it. this tiniest change. Mm -hmm. It's I would feel sick and I'd get really scared and it would just be horrible. But I think that I started getting over all of this around probably freshman year of high school because I realized it's really not that bad. I'm growing mm -hmm. up and I got closer with him and I started understanding the Bible, started reading it and my grandma bought me one and I read it almost <laughs> every day. And she just, they just guided me. And So good. by reading your word, that's how you found out about First Peter 5 and 7? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I prayed for it. I was just mm -hmm. praying like, please show me something. I cannot do this. And then I just like flipped to my Bible and it said something, it was like anxiety, page this. And then I went to that page <laughs> and it was just like, it gave me that and it touched me, it was great. Wow, praise the Lord. So you just graduated from high school, what day this week? Yesterday. Yesterday, yes. yay, yeah. yay. So <laughs> um, when you walked across that stage, did y'all see her turn y'all tassels over? Yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah. What does that mean? I'm finished now. I honestly don't know. I think it means like your new chapter. I a think I don't chapter. know. I guess, yeah. Yeah. So you are starting a new chapter in I your am, life. Yeah. yeah. So you get ready to go to USC USC? USC upstate, yeah. Okay, so what are you going to major in? Psychology. Psychology. Yeah. So why is that why that major? Because I want to be a clinical psychologist and I want to help people who went through what I helped through. I want to guide them through. I want to just show people who were like me that I got through it. So, I mean, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure they can, they can get through it too. Yeah. And I just want to help different types of mental disorders mm -hmm. and just guide people. Mm hmm so, and you sing. I, yeah. Because when you sent me, your mom, your grandmother, I think it was, sent me a tape of you singing at church. Mm -hmm. So you sing in a lot of different churches or just your home church? Um, or I sing in just my home church. Mm -hmm. I haven't really, like, made it to where different churches. I got invited to this, like, convention thing at the end of this month to sing for a bunch of youth groups. Mm -hmm. And... I'm going to sing a couple songs for them, and, like, I just, I'm excited for that. Well, didn't your school go on a tour somewhere? And Yeah, yeah, I'm, I was in Wade Hampton Chorus, and we went to New York, and we sang with, like, we got help from this Broadway, this Broadway show, like, the people, some cast members would come and help us, and we'd sing, and we got a workshop there, and then I was, I sang in Spring Sing at the Peace Center for three times. Yeah, and it was just, I sang a lot, and different things. You know, what, what amazes me about you, Abby, is that for you to have gone through this um, severe anxiety, mm -hmm. you know, and now you're singing, you're out here on Nightline. And yeah. You <laughs> <laughs> so that lets us know that whatever the enemy tried, it didn't mm -hmm. work. It did not. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Whatever he tried against you, you know, what he meant for evil, God has turned it mm -hmm. for your he good. Has. Amen. Right. Praise God. And so I believe that not only are you going to be singing here in Nightline, <laughs> but I believe God is going to open up so yeah. many more I doors for you. <laughs> so many more doors for you. Amen. Because, see, you are a living testimony mm -hmm. of you. the goodness of the Lord yeah. and what God can do. That He is our healer. He is. Amen. Praise God. That he is our restorer. Mm -hmm. Amen. He restored the years that the locusts and the canker worm and palmer worm has trying to eat and destroy it off your life. Yep. But God, he's restoring all that. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Amen. So um, once you go to school in USC, are you, USC, right? USC, yeah. Yeah. Amen. 
Yes, so yes, is it going to be, you think it's going to be difficult for you to leave home or? At first, I know I'm going to be pretty scared, but I, I think I have it. I have it. And um, it's just, it's going to be a big change in my life. I'm going to be in my own dorm, making my own decisions, <laughs> and I'm not going to have my mom with me every night, but I think I can do it. Mm -hmm. Well, you know you're going to have the Lord with you. I will, yes. yes. I will have the Lord with me. <laughs> and you're going to have that scripture with you. Yes. I, you know, casting all your anxieties on yes. him. Yes. Amen. Praise God. So if, what could you tell somebody tonight that's viewing, maybe somebody else is going through the same thing mm -hmm. that you're going through, or uh, went through, mm -hmm. how can you encourage them in their walk with Christ? I say that no matter how you feel or what position you're in, God is with you. He loves you unconditionally. He is always there for you, and all you got to do is call his name, and he's right there. Never give up on anything because God's always with you, and he will push you to the fullest, and you can get anything that you want to get done. Amen. Praise <laughs> God. <laughs> well, I had an opportunity to, I, I, I know your grandmother. Yeah. Yeah, and so I know she's a powerful praying woman of God, and she so is. I know that she's going to be, praying for you and mm -hmm. and with you and your grandfather and your whole, your whole entire family. They say it takes a village to raise a child. It Amen. Does. Praise yeah. God. Well, we do have a little gift bag for you as well. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we wanted to give you all something. Just say how much we love you and how proud thank we you. are of you and just encourage you uh, in your walk with God. Amen. Praise God. Thank you. Well, that was Miss Abby Smart. Oh, my God. She's a phenomenal phenomenal young woman of God and God is doing so many many great things in her life and God is just really blessing her amen praise God and so we want you to come back for the second hour of Nightline we're going to have another amazing guest with us tonight don't go anywhere call somebody and tell them to tune in amen to Abby thank you so much for being with us tonight thank you for amen me. praise God I, we love you God bless you thank and we're you. praying for you daily thank amen you.